In this short tutorial, I want to show you the year frac function in Microsoft Excel. So, the year frac function will return the fraction of a year that's gone by with a given start date and a given end date. This function is very easy to use with only two card arguments. So, to show you how to use it, equals year frac, open parentheses, and the first argument is the start date. So, we want to have your fraction calculated based on the start date, June 1st, 2023. And the end date is going to be June 8th, 2023. And the last argument is the basis, which is can give you a bit more flexibility on how the dates are calculated, actual over actual, actual over 360, European. Um, I, I, the default is zero, but so I'm going to, and you can tell it's, it's optional because it's in brackets, so the function will still work without it. So I'm going to leave that blank because it doesn't impact them very much. And as you can see, between January 1st and June 8th, 43.61% of the year has passed in whole days. We're going to copy paste this down. As you can see, now the everything else is everything else is above a year, so it is more than 100 100%. And this is extremely useful if, for example, you want to have a calculation that's based on a portion of a year that doesn't consider how different months have different days or leap years and so on and so forth. Or if you have like an annual fee or annual bonus, for example, that's prorated. That's prorated based on the amount of time based on just exact percentage of a year. As you can see, Bob gets a hundred dollar bonus in this hypothetical. Whereas everyone else gets gets these other numbers right here, but the point is that it's based on it's based on just the percentage of a year and can allow you calculate calculate prorated numbers that without considering how different ones have different days or libras and whatnot. I said I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.